I'm gonna start off with some Vim. West Ham stink. We stink. Moise is stinky. The tactics are stinky. The players are stinky. The recruitment is stinky. Everything about West Ham Football Club right now stinks. We ain't scored a goal this season yet in the Premier League. Antonio has four goals in 30 games. Four in 30 games. Are you deep in it? We won one game in the last 10. Don't piss me off. We're, we're actually offline. We have disconnected from football servers. We don't know how to play. Someone needs to actually come through. BT, Virgin, Talk Talk, even Plus Now come through and reinstall the wi-fi get us connected to the servers again because we're dead food like watching west ham play actually bores the life out of me i don't know what sort of system Moyes is playing i don't know what he's trying to get out of the players the players don't look like they ready they're ready to even play for him anymore it's looking like they're just tired and they're bored on the pitch like what's going on you've got bowen playing on the wing he knows he's going to play every single game conference league fa cup carabao cup premier league world cup the man know he gonna play regardless of what you what he does whether he's stinky or whether he he smells like 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 Versace, he knows he's gonna play every single game. He has no competition. Corne and Skamaka are still on the bench. You've signed two players that can bring some attacking vibrance to the team, and you're leaving them on the bench to play flipping Mikel Antonio, the slowest tank. Are you are you are you are you lost? I think you lost it. Kurt Zuma's just running out of his cheeks out. Suchek has been missing. Declan Rice is struggling. The team is a mess. We actually do not identify with the word possession. The word possession does not belong in our vocabulary. It's non-existent. We don't know what that means. We cannot keep the ball and it irritates me so much. These long balls to Antonio, they're not working. Teams have clocked it. He can't even get his first touch together. He can't get his legs together. The man can't put the ball down and hold it up. There's no point. Let's play football on the floor. I don't understand. It's not making sense. We're doing these crosses against Brighton. They've got flipping six foot ten defenders and you're doing crosses against Brighton. And then the cheek, the cheek of man to come out and say, oh, our new signers need to get better. Basically, he said the new signers need to get better and adapt to the Premier League. Are you mad? So, you, so you're deflecting the issues that are ongoing with West Ham on our new signings. Before they even joined, we had, a one, we had one, we won one game. You know what I'm saying? Like the one time him and Cornet started, we won the game. Make it make sense. But then in the Premier League, they don't start. They come on, you know, 60 plus minutes, they come on. They can't really do much and you're trying to say that they need to adapt to the league. And you're trying to talk about some that before the penalty we were looking alright. I don't know what game you was watching. Like my like my thing is yeah, when did Brighton become good? When did they become scary hours? When did they become ops? Because they're good. Potters made them play football. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Trossard is a boost. And if he played for Real Madrid or Chelsea or Bayern Munich or one of these big teams, yeah, you'd hear about Trossard every single week. But because he plays for Brighton, he goes under the radar. But you lot got a gem. I'm letting you know now. And I think if he can play at a consistent level all season, maybe get double digits in goals and assists, which I think is very possible the way Brighton are playing right now, Trossard could be leaving at the end of the season. There are teams that need wingers like Trossard. E.G. West Ham and um, I could see him leaving at the end of the season uh, because he's a player that realistically should be competing for trophies honestly but he scored the second goal uh, Carrera gave away a penalty to give away the first goal uh, which was a penalty and yeah throughout the game especially the first half you know Brighton really just showed us how to play football kept the ball were very composed were very relaxed they seemed very much in control because they knew that we were just going to fling long balls down to Antonio they knew they had the height advantage and the uh, the jump advantage over Antonio and the strength. Um, and they knew they were just going to win back possession and just play their game. And that's exactly what they did. The second half was a lot better from West Ham. Uh, we did attack the goal. We did make a lot of chances. I feel like we should have scored. Uh, but it just didn't happen. And, you know, West Ham really need to sort it out. Moyes needs to sort it out. I am sick and tired of the long balls. Play the ball on the floor, blood. On to my other teams. Um, Ajax got a nice little cheeky win over Sparta Rotterdam. 1-0, uh, Steven Bergwijn was on the score sheet. I'm happy to see him score. I'm happy that, you know, he's just enjoying his football now because I feel like it should have worked out at Spurs. Like, you know them transfers that should have worked and they didn't? Now he's got his move back to Holland and he's playing for Ajax. You know, I'm going to expect big things from him. And uh, Borussia Dortmund allowed Werder Bremen to get one of the biggest headlines this weekend. One of the biggest 
comebacks in Bundesliga histories. Uh, I said histories, history. Um, they ended up losing 3-2. They were 2-0 up in the 88th minute. 2-0 up in the 88th minute and lost 3-2. I'm asleep. I am sleep. Oh my goodness. Our defence turned to the setting of Stevie Wonder and said, I don't see nothing. It was mad. Our defence is so leaky and the troubles still remain. I don't know what needs to change. Maybe it's the defensive coaches we've got. I don't know. But something has got to change. And I'm not going to say that this was a must-win game. But I've always said when it comes to the Bundesliga and league or in any league that has a team that just spearheads the table... I feel like you need to win sick. You need to be on the same consistent level as those teams, which means you need to win at least the first 15 games to stay neck and neck with that team. You lose one game, that's the season done. I'm I, and I'm being so real. That is the season done for Dortmund. We are finishing second. You cannot lose any games when you're in a league with such a team like Bayern Munich who completely clotted the team uh, I don't even know who they played was it Bochum I can't remember but they clotted the team 7-0 7-0 it's too easy at this point like let it go frozen settings just leave like can we do some European transfer team system where you know Bayern Munich go to the Premier League or something I'm tired seven it's the it's a long week man it's a long week over to La Liga um Barcelona did their thing, you know, it was a really tense game, um, and then all of a sudden they just cut loose, Usman Dembouti looks like he's gonna be a problem under Xavi, I can't lie, I didn't, I did not rate man, I didn't, but he looks like he's gonna cause havoc, Lewandowski got some disgusting assist, I don't know if you saw it, but it was like a back heel or like a flick over his shoulder kind of thing, but it was like to the side of the shoulder, it was lit, if you ain't seen it, the highlights are on YouTube, get me, and then um, also Lewandowski did get on the score sheet as well. Um, I believe Fatty scored. Did Fatty score? I can't remember who else scored. But they did win 4-1. Um, and then League 1, PSG completely destroying teams right now, man. They look so scary. And I know it's League 1, so you're going to be like, oh, you can't judge it yet. Wait till they get into the Champions League. Nah, because they don't look as shaky as they did under Pochettino. Like, right now, they look strong. They look consistent. They look powerful. Neymar looks like he's on a different zone. Messi is coming through with just, 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 just gifts, gifts. Gifts is an assist for you, assist for you, assist for you. If he ain't going to score, at least he's assisting. He's doing what he needs to do. Mbappe, crybaby Mbappe came through and said, I'm a man today. You know what I'm saying? He showed up, he turned out, he did what he needed to do. He got the fastest goal in league on history in eight seconds. Ridiculous. They scored from kickoff. This not FIFA 20, bro. What games did you guys enjoy? Let me know in the comment section down below. West Ham fans, let me know what you thought about our, our performance. It's just To me, we just stink. Dortmund fans, what did you think of our performance? I mean, I'm not going to say it stunk because we must have done something right if we were 2-0 up until the 80 whatever minute. But to concede three goals in such a space of time, like, that's ridiculous. Like, our defence is struggling. But I'm out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves.